Morena Koto. I know it's been a couple days, but I have just feel after that 10th live one, I'm just going to kind of um, go maybe every other day or every couple days. I might do one or two back to back. I um, just find that I'm doing multiple things a day. Um, there, some of these videos take a little while to actually put together and edit and find the space and time to do them. Um, so if you've done all of them, awesome. Um, keep following. But as I said, um, I'm going to just slowly release some of them and yeah, just kind of going with the flow at the moment and getting maybe a little bit of uh, relaxation time in before next week starts and our online teaching extravaganza begins. Um, something I really thought was fun for, I know it's going to be a today as of Monday, but um, it was it was kind of fun. It was a how to prepare for Monday. So if you actually write out the word Monday, M is for meal planning and prep. So you do that on the Sunday night. O is for organize your weekly schedule. So kind of what things you have coming up in the week. And it is for neaten and tidy up your space. So Sundays, we always did that anyway. There's a cleanup day. Um, D is don't overload your day. So make sure your Sundays are still kind of stress-free because you're about to lead into a stressful week, typically. Um, a is arrange your belongings to save time. So get ready so that when you're up in the morning, everything's good to go. And why? You'll need to go to bed early. So there's nothing like a good night's sleep in order for you to feel um, nice and recharged for the day ahead. So I thought that was a real um, cool little thing just to have on the plate. And again, there's everything else that you guys have been doing that I've talked about. So I'm not going to keep it too long. Uh, I'm just going to chuck in the core um, video. It's just 24 minutes, you kind of kind of set a clock. You can choose the third core movement, but all you're going to do is you're going to move for one minute, do something different for the second minute, and do something different for the third minute, and we're just going to cycle through that. So that's as easy as it gets for today. And I'll catch you um, when it's a bit nicer out for the video. All right. On the floor today, um, after yesterday's one, I feel we'll just do a uh, core session so about 24 minutes and that's all she wrote so easy enough to do inside outside in isolation if it's a nice day go outside if it's raining do it inside um, we're gonna do a couple movements um, it's called an imam so every minute on the minute um, you're just gonna work and then you rest until that minutes up so for instance when we say go you're gonna do your reps and then you once you're done you chill and hang out until the minute is up then on the minute you do your next movement okay so first things we're going to do is <clears throat> whew, find a nice spot Wait, all right so first minute we're going to do one so five glute bridges which we've done before remember to squeeze push your butt up as soon as you're done your five, you're gonna go into five crunches, palm of your hands on your knee, into five toe touches. Okay, so that's minute one. So five glute bridges, right? Five knee touches, hi Teddy, and then five toe touches. As soon as you're done, hi Teddy, right? You, you rest, okay? And then in the next minute, we're gonna stay on our back, lucky everyone. Knees come up to 90, arms, right? So my right arm is gonna go back, left leg goes back, right? Right leg goes back, left arm goes back. It's called a dead bug. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those, 10. So five on the right leg, five on the left leg. Once you're done, rest until the minute is up. Easy as that. Those are our first minute, second minute, and the third minute is we're going to then go onto our knees and do the exact opposite of the dead bug and do what's called a bird dog. So on my knees, same thing, opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, so it's nice and easy 10 reps. It's nice and controlled. And that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep going through that. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, eight rounds. But it's nice and easy, so you're not 
going fast, not donkey kicking, right? Legs trying to go up, squeeze the butt, arm out, down, down. Cool? So, five bridge, five crunch, five toe taps, first minute, we'll hang out. Second minute, right? Ten dead bugs. And the third minute is the bird dogs. That's it, 24 minutes, all we're gonna do. And put on some music, headphones, have a speaker, just enjoy the sunshine if you can. And here we go, minute one, three, two, one, let's go. thing to do um, just control right so things should be at 20 ish to 30 seconds of working because it's not a fast it's more of a controlled exercise today all oh, right 15 seconds
bad one to recover on for today. So nothing like a good core workout. Again, if you need, 
add a few more reps. Maybe add two or three more reps to the bridges, and then add two or three more reps to each of the sit-ups, and that'll get you a bit more fiery. Right? It's always you need. Remember to squeeze your butt. Right? Push your hips as far forward as you can. Arms on the ground to use support. Feeling a lot better. Getting to our bird dog and potentially slow it down even more. Get more work. Remember, we're not kicking, we're raising.
time frame. I personally would want to go for just about a 15 to 20 second rest and then into the next full workout because they're not too strenuous. With longer work time on the smaller rest, it should be fine.
your core to get a good core workout. You can go slower for isometric holds or eccentrics is what we're doing, which is a little lowering and lengthening. Right? Sometimes it's better. for day 11. Nice just little core finisher. 24 minutes, that's all it takes. So you can do it pretty much anywhere, no equipment. done. 